You said, don't worry about the block reward. It's not going to be an issue if everyone's selling on Bitcoin. But there are two schools of thought, and I'm just interested in where yours are. There's yeah. a school of thought that uh, if everyone's selling or major institutions are selling on the blockchain, block space will be valuable, and therefore there'll be enough in fees to pay for the miners. There's an alternative viewpoint that if there isn't enough from fees, there will be people like Michael Saylor who might be set on fuck knows, like billions and trillions of Bitcoin, he is incentivized to protect that Bitcoin by essentially paying miners to do that. But as a, yeah, not as a mine, as a fee, just as some, I don't know, some kind of structure to pay the miners to secure it. What do you think happens there? I find both of those scenarios to be really weird. Okay. Yeah, I... I, I think Bitcoin's binary. So like I don't think there's this medium success scenario where Bitcoin's like somewhat re, like somewhat valuable, but then no one is using the system. Like that just does not make any sense to me. So it's either the world is on the system and that system scaled. So like you don't you won't need to have final settlement on Bitcoin for every single transaction. Like it doesn't need to scale that way. But like it will have scale technologically to a way where people can continue to maintain its features while you know ultimately settling onto the blockchain and that's like this like layered approach on the flip side like there I, there's nowhere where bitcoin's incentive structure relies on like humans being you know good or humans wanting to uh be ambivalent or whatever like it's either the world settles on this settlement network that has finite supply and finite block space, and we find a way to scale that through human ingenuity, or it completely falls apart. I just like there is no this middle ground. And guess what? If we're at point zero zero one percent of Bitcoin users, and we're looking at block space usage, and we're like, oh wow, man, block space usage is making me kind of nervous because you know there was like you know two sats per byte to get into the the next block. Okay, we'll multiply that finite block space by, you know, two orders of magnitude people entering the system. Like, it's, it's going to change. Like, things will settle out. Because we're still kind of bootstrapping, right? We're so early. And I mean, like, ultimately, if we need to get 99.99% more people onto the blockchain, our shit better be empty right now. Otherwise, there's no hope of scaling. Like, there's no hope of scaling. That's like, look at Ethereum. Ethereum has no hope of scaling. There's 0. 0.000 whatever percent of the planet is on Ethereum right now, and they can't, they can't do anything. Like, that thing can't, there's no runway for scaling. At least there's runway for scaling on Bitcoin. Like, think exponentially, guys. It's either zero or hyper Bitcoinization. Again, that's my opinion. Maybe there'll be a lot of people who listen to this who argue against that. And if we go to hyper Bitcoinization, like, we got 99.99% more people getting on this thing. Like what are we what are we even talking about?